Hi, I'm Laura Prudham from the Huffington Post. And I'm Dustin Clare from Australia. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about episode nine, The Dead and the Dying. Gannicus kind of truly loves the battle. You had that great fight scene kind of with three against you, which I mean, that's something that you're kind of used to at this point. But can you talk a little bit about filming and choreographing that scene? Gannicus, take position. Two Romans seem to deliver no contest. Send three, so that I may deliver proper tribute. Uh, yeah, that's him, he's a showman. It's the place where he's kind of truly actually at ease with himself. That's his place of freedom is inside the arena when he's actually fighting. Gannica seeks to best you. Gladiators seek to best all. It's the only way to survive in the arena. <laughs> 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 Well, episode nine, it's a very intense episode. Crixus has just died. Did that kind of permeate while you were filming? Was that kind of a feeling on set? We had a prosthetic of Manu's chopped off head on set with us most of the days and we're passing that around like a football. <laughs> so, yeah, he was, he was always there. In spirit. In spirit. Probably the most powerful scene in the episode was where they're all remembering who they've lost and, you know, chanting Crixus's name and Animaeus's name. Can you talk a little bit about the experience of filming that scene in particular? Yeah, it was a nice little um, a vignette, I guess, of um, saying goodbye to all these characters from past seasons. Uh, yeah, so that was a, a nice thing to leave those characters who have been along and been part of the story um, all the way through. Join us again next week when we'll be talking to Liam McIntyre about the series finale. Don't miss it. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>